What is up everyone? Let's talk about the Vision OS. What you see right here is not actually the Vision OS. This is called the Spatial App on the MetaQuest 3. And it's darn near close to the actual thing you see on the Apple Vision Pro. So if you do not have three Ks to shout out on the Apple Vision Pro right at the moment like me, then this might actually blow your mind. So the first thing that strikes you when opening up the special app is the interface, which almost completely looks like the Vision OS itself. They did a pretty darn good job at this. Even the keyboard, the keyboard with its round keys and the style overall also looks like the real thing. I got an idea. Since the Vision OS, you can put every screen wherever you want. Let me test this out in a kitchen setup. So I went to the kitchen and, you know, add some dishes to wash. So what I did is I just opened YouTube, opened my Discord, opened even ChatGPT, because why not? Maybe you're going to use ChatGPT to ask some questions while you're cooking, like how long should I cook this for? Or do you have a good recipe I could cook right now? You got one of those widgets, which is the timer app. And I got the timer app, placed it above one of my pans as if I was really cooking. You know, you place it there and it just stays and you can look over to your right to watch YouTube. You can ask ChatGPT something and the time is running and you're just multitasking. This blew my mind. And of course, I went on with the dishes. So that worked really neat. Next up, I just want to explore the web browser itself. Is it snappy? Well, by first opening it up, it's just a regular web browser. You see Google, you could type things. I went to YouTube, YouTube worked fine videos played. I went to Wikipedia for some reason, also worked. I could make my bookmarks. I could open separate tabs. I could even open another web browser, which works separate from the other window with the web browser. You can essentially multitask like this. I wanted to see my own computer screen. How does the remote connection to your computer work? Because it has Google remote desktop and some kind of built-in remote desktop client, which you can download from their website and connect to your computer that way. So I tried it out, I downloaded the client, but upon connecting, the screen was horrible. It was really choppy, like it was, it was lagging, it was not smooth at all by moving my cursor. So I pretty much ditched that quickly because I've got way better options like virtual desktop in order to do that. But it's in alpha mode, so let's not criticize it too much. And then I thought like, hey, what if I want to use my quest as a photo gallery? Perhaps you want to do that or someone else. Instead of just like uploading photos to your quest or, you know, going into a web browser, Google Drive and opening your photos from there, the Spatial app has a Google Photos or even Apple Photos app built in where you can log into your Google account or your Apple account and watch your photos directly from the drive, from the cloud, I mean, and it works flawlessly. So then I opened up my Gmail. I just put it above my computer screen. It opened up perfectly. Then I thought like, hey, what if I am like, you know, in shopping mode? Shopping! <laughs> Never mind. Let's go to Amazon. So I went to Amazon, you know, just swipe with your controls. Works perfect. I'm on Amazon. There we go. Google Calendar. Also open it up. Works flawlessly. You even have the days, the weeks, the years below the window screen itself where you can switch directly from the time frame. That was really neat. I could open Spotify, you know, you can open HBO, other music apps. What if you want to use this whole spatial app as some kind of a productivity hub? In that case, you can also do that. I've started to use Notion also for my content creation process. I've made some kind of a live OS. Ali Abdal, another YouTuber also has done. So I was kind of inspired. I wanted to do it myself. Seemed cool. So Notion, I open it up and it works. I can do everything. Although I must say, if you want to use apps like these, it might be better to connect your keyboard and your mouse directly to your headset and use it that way. I opened up Notion, I opened up YouTube, I could uh, open my Discord, I could open WhatsApp. 
You can do anything. You can place the windows anywhere you want. Now we have full screen. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we also have a cinema mode. Ah, look at that. So everything around you gets like... The brightness gets lowered and the screen in front of you stays bright. Even with a little bit of glow around it, as you can see. Oh, and we can also resize. Oh, that's cool. If they could have maybe styled it more towards their own identity, um, their own style, not just mimicking what the Vision Pro does. I mean, that would have been cool. Perhaps they want to cater to Apple users on the Quest, give them the feeling as if they own a Apple Vision Pro. Wish <laughs> Apple Vision Pro. Hey, I mean, it works. Currently, you can get it for $9.99 on the App Lab. So it's kind of a early release. I'm really curious what the full version of this app is going to bring to us. Because right now, I am impressed with the capabilities and the amount of things and the productivity you can pull out of this. So tell me in the comments below what you would have done or what would you want to see in the Spatial app. And with that said, please like and subscribe to my channel. I love you all. See you in the next video.